Hi everybody, it's Mary with Time to Turn Fitness. I'm bringing you movement for the maturing adult. And today we're going to do a total body, very relaxing flow, chair yoga wise, that will help you either get ready for your day or get ready to really relax when you hit the pillow tonight. I am going to start by suggesting that you're in a, a straight back chair. If you have arms on your chair, that's fine. If you don't, that's even better. And please, please do not do a movement that your body is not prepared to do. Respect your limits. We all have them. And as long as we take care of our body and move comfortably, we can really nourish our bodies and minds. So let's put your feet together. First thing we're going to do is start from the bottom up. So would you come lift your heels off the floor? You are up on your toes and lower your foot. Now, if your calf starts to cramp, just put your heels right back down on the floor and lower those heels. Twice more coming up on the balls of your feet. And you're breathing nice and easily. Last time, lifting those heels off the floor and lower. Now, just sort of march your legs for a moment. I'm gonna ask you to do the opposite movement. So my feet are forward. I am going to perch my feet on my heels and I'm lifting the front of my feet off the floor. Opposite movement, lower. Lift the front of your foot, keep your heels on the floor. This is all about mobility in your ankle. Lower your foot. Sometimes, there can be a tendency to lose a little bit of mobility in our ankles as we mature. And so being very intentional to move in both directions that the foot moves keeps us safer when we're walking, gives us better balance. Lower that foot one more time, lift the toes up towards the ceiling and lower. All right, bring those feet back down. Let's sort of march our feet out a little bit. This leg is gonna cross over. And now I am gonna ask that foot to circle. Let's go the opposite direction. Very nice. Hands come under your thigh. Would you bring your thigh in close to your torso? Sitting nice and tall. All right. Lowering this leg. Can you perch this leg on your toes? Sitting nice and tall you'll feel a gentle opening in the side of your hip. That's wonderful and gives you more mobility in your hip. So breathe here. Real important, stay erect in your chair. Breathing. One more breath here. And uncross that leg. This leg now crosses over. Let's circle that ankle. And opposite. All right, sitting forward very slightly in your chair. Can you get this foot in contact with the floor? Otherwise, keep that leg lifted on the perch leg. 
and you will start to experience more of a lengthening on the outside of your hip. We never pull any of our limbs to try and make them move deeper in a stretch. That's something that doesn't help. And did you know it can take up to 30 seconds for a muscle to completely relax? which is why I've designed my practices to flow slowly from one move to the next. All right, let's uncross that leg. This leg is going to extend forward, perched on the heel. I am putting both hands on top of my leg and now I am coming forward from my hip socket. My back is completely straight and you feel a lengthening happening in the back side of your leg. Three more breaths here. Remember 30 seconds it can take sometimes for a muscle to finally release. All right, bring your body upright, bring that foot back. Let's extend the opposite foot on the heel. Both hands are on top of the, the knee of that opposite leg, hinging forward just until you feel a gentle tension in the back of your upper leg. Breathing here. One more breath. Bring yourself back upright. This leg now extends out to the side. This hand goes on the opposite leg. This arm reaches up. Gate posed. Breathe nice and easy. One more breath. Bring it down. Bring this leg in. This leg extends out to the side. Hand on the opposite leg, up and over. Gate pose. Pay attention to what you're feeling beneath that lifted arm. One more breath here. And exhale. Bring that arm down. Let's bend this forward knee. Going more into our hips. This leg has the knee straight below. We are going to bring both arms in, cactus arms at shoulder height, hip hinge forward. Now you'll feel that in your tush. I love the fact that you don't have to tie yourself in a pretzel like a younger yogi to get the benefits. This is humble warrior. Now bring your hands down to your leg that's extended and breathe. There's a lot more lengthening in the glute of this forward leg right now. Bring yourself back up. Walk your foot around. This foot now is forward with a bent knee. This knee goes down. Are you with me? Cactus arms. Hinge forward from your hips till you feel some lengthening happening in your glute. 
bend your upper leg. Now bring that hand to the forward leg. Breathing here. Two more breaths. Remember a muscle can take up to 30 seconds to lengthen. Beautiful job, come up. Let's come back to center. Take two breaths here. This leg is going to rest on top of the opposite once more. I hold the shin of my lifted leg just to keep it from sliding off. Now sit very upright and you will feel once more the adductors on the outside of your upper leg beginning to relax, beginning to release. Two breaths. Last breath. I love this pose because it does such a great job of opening hips. Okay, opposite leg. Lift it. This knee, ask it to make its way towards the floor and you'll immediately feel your hip socket and the top of your upper leg there relax. We have done a beautiful job of addressing the outside of your legs. We need to go to the inside of your legs next. One more breath here. And exhale, lower that foot and let's have wide legs, greater than hip width. We are going to hinge forward from our hips and now you'll feel the inside of those legs begin to lengthen. You can go as far or as shallow in this stretch as you would choose. You may be down here. You might just be here whatever you are able to do today. Two more breaths. When hips can get tight, we can experience pain in our low back. And so loosening up the mobility in those hips really can be helpful if you've had some low back issues. Come back up, unhinging, bring your feet together. And now my upper body is rotating on top of my pelvis in a circle, moving up the body and let's go the opposite direction in our Torso twist. Stop when you've completed your circle. This hand is going to reach behind my chair. This hand is going to join that hand. Bring your gaze to the side wall. Your entire back is in a beautiful spiral. Release this hand from your chair. You'll feel some relaxation happening. Come center, take a breath. All right, this hand is reaching behind your chair if you're able. This hand is reaching to the back of my chair, sitting very tall, 
in this spinal twist. Again, go only where it's safe for your body. If you're feeling tense in your hips, take a breath in and imagine your hips relaxing. Very nice, release that one hand. Come back to the center and two breaths. Now, we are going to do a variation of cat-cow. When we take a breath in, we cave our chest in and look down. As we exhale, we reach to the back of our chair, chest forward, and look up. So this is the movement. And look up, ribs forward. Breathe in, collapse the chest. Exhale. Twice more, reach to the back of the chair, look up, and collapse that chest. And look up. Drop your head forward. Bring your arms to rest on your upper thighs. Palms are capped over your knees. Rest your forearms. Look up for cobra for chair. Bring your gaze forward. Slide your hands up to your thighs. Rest up. And breathe here to breath. Bring this arm up, lifting over. Bring it down. This arm up, lifted over. And bring it down. This leg is going to extend out to the side. This leg is extended behind. This hand will come right into the crease of my hip. And I lean my body forward for an extended side angle, working the side of the torso quite a bit right now. Bring yourself upright. Walk around to the opposite side, foot back, hand in, and look up. Sometimes in life, we just have to look up and know that things are getting better, right? Beautiful, come back, come center. Narrow leg forward, fold, slide down those shins at whatever capacity you have. Keeping that low back nice and in line with your shoulders and mid back. Two breasts. Now, my foot, my hand that's down beside my feet, parks on my feet and I look up. Breathe into your hips. Breathe into your low back. 
Bring that arm down, place, and lift. Exhale, bring your hand down and walk up your shins. Take a breath here. Let's bring your hands to shoulder height, tracing some circles clockwise. Clockwise rotation. I like to go backwards only because so much of how we sit brings our shoulders forward. So this really encourages our shoulders to help us have great posture. Once more around. Lower those arms and breathe. Two more breaths here. Let's extend our arms forward for upper chest mobility, open wide. Once more, project those ribs forward. Take a breath in, close those arms, exhale, open, three more breaths. Two more. Last one, breathe in. Exhale. And lower your arms, very nice. Let's go into our neck. Start to shake your head no. And continue this side to side shake of your head, but lower your chin gradually. This kind of movement really asks your muscles to relax more. You're not forcing it, just allowing it to happen. Stop at the bottom, take one breath in. And bring your head forward. Drop this ear towards your shoulder. Opposite arm extended. And this hand is simply resting on the top of your head. Not pressing. Bring the arm in, release, this ear over, arm, rest your hand on top of your head, and release, put your hands on top of your thighs, Rotate those shoulders gently. Twice more. Last time. Come center with your shoulders. Hands are right on your thighs. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Namaste, everyone. Thank you for coming today. I hope you enjoyed this practice. If you haven't subscribed, won't you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom? If you have any comments or questions, we welcome those. Leave those in the bottom also. This is Mary with Time to Train Fitness. I will see you again real soon with more mobility for the modern mature adult. Take care, everyone. Bye.